Hello, my friends. We're going to read Matthew 26, 40 through 41, and it says, Then Jesus came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. And then in C.S. Lewis's writings in Letters to Malcolm, it says, First, the prayer of anguish, not granted. Then he turns to his friends. They're asleep, as ours, or we, are so often, or busy, or away, or preoccupied. Have you ever felt that? Have you ever felt that in your life where you really just need your friends? You've asked them to be there for you. You've asked them to be with you through something. And when you look for them, they're preoccupied. Not necessarily in something bad. Um, sleep is not a bad thing in Jesus' case. <clears throat> and your friends are not necessarily preoccupied in something bad or, or, or naughty or anything like that. It's just you had really hoped they would be there for you and busy away or preoccupied. Let's go into our devotion. Have you ever wondered why our Lord was so hard on his disciples for being sleepy late at night? I'm sleepy almost every night, our author writes, especially after a good meal on a long day. At first glance, we might be tempted to side with the disciples, but then we remember that it's Jesus who rebuked him. Something else is going on here. Remember that Jesus has predicted his death not once, not twice, but three times. Remember also that this is their master, their leader, their rabbi, the one whom Peter had called the Christ, that is, the promised Savior predicted by the prophets. They knew it was coming, or they should have. I can identify with that, again, this is our author speaking, knowing that I should have known had I only paid closer attention. Hindsight is always 2020, they say. But then again, wasn't it part of God's plan, as C.S. Lewis notes, that Jesus be forsaken by his father and his closest followers? That doesn't excuse the disciples or us, but at least we know that he is in control even when we aren't. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, for the sake of Jesus, forgive our weaknesses. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, my friends, I will see you right here tomorrow. Um, and it will be Monday, Thursday. So today was the very last Wednesday that you and I will be meeting together in Lent. And tomorrow will be our very last Thursday we'll be meeting together. We've been spending a lot of time in this devotion and, and behind our computer screens. Um, I love those days when we get to see each other face to face, whether it's Sunday mornings or with those of you who don't live in Arizona, don't go to Trinity, those of you that I see on Facebook or, or send videos to other kinds of videos, those I call, FaceTime, things like that. Um, I've enjoyed this time, but I of course long for those times where we can see each other face to face. God did not put us here on little islands. He put us here with each other. I love you, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.